In today's video, we're going to look at a very simple concept, and that is how to turn strings to lowercase. All right, so we'll start off with a simple example here. So I'm going to say it's char str equals this is an example string. And let's turn a couple words here to uppercase. I'm going to say example with capital letters, and I'm, I'm going to change this as to be uppercase as well. So the end result should be that all the letters are lowercase. All right, how do we do this in C? So there are many approaches to this. The first one is to do it without any sort of dependencies on other libraries. All right, so we're going to start off well, uh, counterintuitively with just including string.h. We need this to know how many characters are in the string, but not for the actual conversion itself. So that's fine. So I'm going to say here uh, size t length of the string, and that's going to be str len of str, right? And for size t i again equals zero, i less than length. I plus plus. Right? This is very straightforward, we're just iterating the string. Now, um, in here, how do we convert the uppercase letters to lowercase letters? So whenever possible, I try to bring in the ASCII table. And as you can see here, it is again. Um, to understand how to do this, first we should take a look at uh, the characters and how they are placed in the ASCII table itself. And if we take a look at the uppercase letters, the ones that we want to convert, you will notice up here that um, the first uppercase letter is at 65 and it goes consecutively through the whole alphabet from A to all the way to Z uh, with the value 90. All right, so they are all consecutively in the ASCII table, therefore, so they all have consecutive values in the ASCII table, therefore, we can actually uh, check for a range between uh, one number and the other. So that's what we're going to do. So in here, we're going to say if str of i, that's the character that we're iterating, we're iterating character by character. Um, I'm going to say if it's higher or equal than the ASCII value of uppercase A. That's, in this case, it is 65. Okay, so I'm going to say if it's higher or equal than 65. And uh, str of i, if it's lower or equal than, I think it was 90, the ASCII value of z. Okay, so that's the first step. Now we know that if we get inside this um, if statement, we know that we have an uppercase letter and we have to convert it to a lowercase one. How do we do that? Well, we should take a look at the lowercase uh, letters now. And uh, as we notice, the same thing as with the uppercase letters, they are all in a consecutive order. So it's quite nice. And if we take a look at the difference between each one of them, so let's say that we want to convert, I don't know, the, lower, the uppercase B to a lowercase b, right? What's the difference between the two? Well, it's 98 minus 66. That would be 32, right? So in this case, we have a 32 uh, value difference between the uppercase and the lowercase b. And if we take a look at another letter, let's say z in this case, 122 is for the lowercase z and 90 is for the uppercase z. 122 minus 90 is again 32. So that 32 difference is uh, throughout all of the letters, right? So whenever you want to convert from a uppercase letter to a lowercase letter, all you have to do is add the number 32, okay? And that's what we can do here. So in this case, we can just say str of i plus equals 32, right? We have to add, even though we're changing a letter to lowercase, we actually have to add uh, to the value because the lowercase letters are further down the ASCII table. And if we add here a printf statement, let's say result is, and I'm going to add a colon and percent s. I'm going to actually use some uh, single quotes here for it to be easy to distinguish. And then I'm going to say str. And if we try to launch this program, you'll notice that this is an example string. Now is all lowercase. Perfectly fine. Now you might notice that this algorithm is kind of difficult to just memorize because you have a lot of numbers that are just hard coded there. Uh, but don't worry, actually, an improvement to this would be to instead use the characters themselves instead of the values that they have. So instead of 65, I can just say uppercase A, okay? And if I hover over it on my editor, I, you will notice it's actually 65 because in C, characters or anything is converted to a number. So in our case, 65, uh, in our case, the character uppercase A is converted to its ASCII value, which is 65, but we don't need to know that anymore. So we just need to know that, well, in the ASCII table, uh, all the letters from A to Z, let's say uppercase, are in a consecutive order. So we can just say A here, instead of the 90, we can just say 
uppercase Z. Perfectly fine so far. Okay, so now we have removed two of the uh, numbers we have to remember. Now, with the 32, you can also do uh, another trick, and that is to instead subtract two numbers. So all you have to do here, instead of 32, you can just say um, the character lowercase a minus the character uppercase a. In this case, lowercase a is 97, uppercase a is 65, and the, the difference is going to be 32. But with this difference, you just need to know that, oh, the lowercase numbers are later on in the ASCII table. So you don't have to actually um, memorize this 32 number, this magical number that uh, is used in this algorithm. Okay, and then probably an improvement would be to move this to like a, uh, let's say, like difference equals this and then just use this instead. That's perfectly fine. And if you actually memorize this algorithm, it's going to be much easier for you if you ever need to uh, change a string to lowercase in class or in an exam or something else. Now, let's take a look at a different approach. And that is using some of the functions from the standard library. We actually have some functions that we can make use of, and those are inside ctype.h. -type All right, so um, instead of actually comparing um, characters with the ASCII values, we can just call the function is upper. Okay, so we can take a look at is upper and pass in the str of i. And this function simply returns zero if the character str of i is uh, not uppercase and something else other than zero when it is uppercase. Okay, so it is basically going to enter this if uh, block if the character that we're looking at is uppercase. So what do we do? Well, we can simply uh, say str of i, and this time we can just say equals, and there is another function called to lower, and we can just use this instead, to lower of, of course, str of i. That is to actually change a uh, character to lowercase. All right, so both of these functions are in ctype.h. And if we launch this, we can actually comment out the difference because we don't use it anymore. And if we launch this, we're gonna get the exact same result. This is an example string, perfectly fine. And the only drawback to this is like a little bit of a uh, performance decrease. So this version is about two times worse than just doing the operations straight away, but it's kind of expected because you're calling some functions here. And there's one more solution that is very easy to use, although it's not available on all compilers. So it's not a standard function, but it's fine if you know that. And that function is called strlwr. So strlwr. And this guy, we, as you might notice here, we are in Visual Studio. So I'm using the Visual C compiler um, because it's only available over here and not on the other GCC compiler that I have there. But uh, here we basically have uh, a function that we just pass in the string that we want to convert. Here's the string that we used before. I'm gonna copy it in. And this function is going to change it in place. So you don't have to allocate space for it or deallocate it if it's returned, it doesn't matter. The return value is going to be the same, uh, the same pointer to this uh, string that you pass in. So uh, we can just print out the result. Now if you try to launch this, this is not gonna work on the later versions on Visual Studio, so you'll notice that you actually get an error saying that this is deprecated. So you should use the underscore version of uh, this function. But even then, if you launch this, you're actually gonna get another deprecation uh, that says that this function may be unsafe. So you can either add the CRT secure no warnings or I can just use the underscore S version of this function and I can pass in a size, let's say, I don't know, 50 characters. I'm gonna pass in here as well, 50 characters as a like maximum buffer size. Okay, and then uh, this should actually work. And in this case, we do get the result. This is an example string, and this is a very short and simple solution if you ever need to do so in Visual Studio. And that's about it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code will be found on our website down below. Take care. Bye.